Good evening, cyber friends. This is Mitty Man. Coming back at you from Walker's Music. Well, yeah, let me push this door up. Another word. Another word for the day. I have to close that door there because having two and three conversations and I'm trying to record it ain't going to work too good. At any rate, I want to give a big shout out to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT as well as Mama JT. And as I ordinarily say, we love you and there ain't nothing you can do about it. We want to just say that we given uh, we have uh, had a pretty interesting year, people. People have made all kinds of excuses to not do things that are worthwhile. And I just got through talking to a buddy of mine, and uh, we was talking about some of the very same things. Uh, you know, people, the, when the beginning of the year came around in 2011, and it, it seemed like the, you know, the people talking about the economy and the gas, and gas prices went through the roof and everything, and everybody just got in a frenzy. But they, they, no one wanted to do anything, and everybody wanted to shut down and stop doing this and stop doing that. But Middy Man has no problem with what people want to do. I have no problem, and uh. I just, I just, I just look at how we quickly rely on man's system of things. But I look to the heavenly Father, people. I look to the heavenly Father. Uh, regardless of how bad this economy get, I'm gonna look to the hills from who's coming my hill. Uh, I made a video a little while back. I said, when a person is hungry, be it T-bone steak or bologna, it don't matter. You know, if you're hungry, eat either one or do. Either want to do, and like I say, you know, we 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 are uh, most of the time, and then I'm, you know, I'm just gonna be honest with you. We we set back sometime, and we try to look in look at others that may be prospering, and then we want to talk maybe down on them, you know, like they have done something, you know, they got to be selling drugs and that. But no, people, no, 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 no. Everybody's prospering is not selling drugs, you know, and they're they're not and they're not into a racket just because they're prospering. If not everybody. Now I mind you that it might be some that is and, and all that are, I should say, but uh not everybody. If the Bible tells us that if we do well and we, we stay on God's side, people, if we do his will, that we will be blessed. It's all it's all in the word. God laid it out in front of us. He said, I set before you blessing and curse. You choose. So in other words, if we want to be blessed, we must choose blessing. And if we want to be cursed, it's their fault. You know, that curse came automatically by man's sin. Everything was cursed by man's sin. But now, we were redeemed from the curse by Jesus Christ. Now, if you want to continue to live under the curse, after you've been redeemed from the curse, that's ludicrous. You know, me and Brother JT was talking about, he had a video about the people that didn't want music. Well, I know a lot of uh, I know of a denomination. Matter of fact, I got a friend of mine. He's a pastor of the Church of Christ. And he told me that they don't, even though he loved my plan and everything, and, you know, like I said, I'm very basic, but I do know music. Uh, he loved my playing and singing and everything, but, you know, he, he, he told me that, you know, in the Church of Christ, they don't use instruments. And, you know, I was like, well, you know, whatever floats your boat but i play keyboard so i could not help you i couldn't help him as rather you know if i as much as i wanted to because of the fact well that was not their way of doing things but nevertheless i look at 150 songs that said that everything they have breath praise the lord and we were supposed to praise him on all the instruments so i don't know you know i didn't make up their doctrine i i, I, I wasn't sitting down with the archives and everything and the committees that made up their bylaws so you know i'm not going to judge anyone for and i'm a baptist as far as the book is concerned but one thing about it, i'm a child of god best one i can be the best one i can be that's all i can do i can't judge my actions by somebody else's and i don't i don't i don't i don't i don't, I don't uh, measure my my relationship with christ by somebody else's i don't try to do that I don't try to pray six hours a day. Mm -mm. No, don't do that. If I get six minutes, I'm all right. But those six minutes, I try to let them be for real. 
So in other words, that that's that's you know I don't judge what I do by others, and uh, that's what me and my buddy we were talking about on the phone. And uh, so what I'm saying, people, like I said on the last video about my last video this morning, I was talking about Jonah, and uh, I got to feel a little, a little. I don't know whether I got overheated or what, but I was feeling a little rough until I got a phone call about 45 minutes ago, and uh, but I feel pretty good now. And uh, but I just wanted to say on that video, don't don't let God take you to Whale University, people. And I'm not going to make this a long video. It's almost about five minutes, six minutes into it. Uh, don't let God send you to Whale University because he will. In other words, we, God gave us free will. But God would not take no for an answer. Now, I guess we said, well, what what you mean, baby man? Well, first of all, a lot of things come upon us of our own choice and our own choosing. God said he put before a blessing and courage. Then he said, and, 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 uh, he said, choose life, life and death. He can tell it, it's a no-brainer, people. Choose life. Now, you can choose death. What do I mean by choosing death? Keep on looking at the fine, pretty women. The fancy cars. Is there anything wrong with them? No. But you got to do it in the right way. See, you can't be like Solomon. Solomon tried to have them all. You can have one. One. That's it. So don't try to try to go in like a buffet, a buffet and taste everything on the menu. You can't do it like that. You you better take your time and ask God for the wisdom and you make yourself and make your choice correctly and choose the right one and you'll be all right. Because everything look good ain't good for you. And that's all I'm going to say on that. But I want to say this here much and I'm going to close this here out. When Jesus walked this earth, people, Jesus walked and showed us how we should live. He kept the law perfectly, so therefore that let me and you know that we couldn't do it. But Jesus did it for us, and he paid the penalty. He redeemed us from the curse. He redeemed us back to God. Now we got right standing with God. Now, people, there is nothing on this planet worth your soul. It said, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but yet lose his soul? So that lets me know there is nothing that I can gain, whether it's music-wise or money-wise, whatever. There's nothing that I can gain or you in this world that's worth your soul. So what we should do each day we put our feet on the floor. We should be saying, thank you, Lord. What can I do this day to uplift your kingdom? To bring soul into the kingdom, to your kingdom. That should be our main, our main focus. Not to lift many man up. Because like I said, it's not about many man, but it's to lift up the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But we must do our very best. And as, this, as it says in the scripture, having done all to stand, then you stand. Meaning what? When you done did everything you know how to do, then that's when you got to stand on the word. You just going to have to stand on the word. And people, the word going to be forever. The word, heaven and earth going to pass. But that word, nah, nah. It's going to stand forever. That being said, this is Middle Man saying peace and goodbye.